Hello there, my magnificent manifestors. It's Tuesday at 10.30 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. That means it's time for another tidbit for transformation. Now, our tidbit today is specially designed for those of you that are feeling lost, okay? If your life is lacking direction and purpose, you're really going to love this. You see, today's tidbit for transformation is all about the top three signs that you need to change your direction. Okay, so the universe gives us signs all the time. And you have to be pay paying attention to actually even notice them. But I got an email this week from Anna, and Anna, I really want to thank you for sending me that question, how do you know when you need to change your direction, whether that be in your personal life, your business, your emotional, or your spiritual connections? So today, what I'm going to do is I am going to go over the top three signs that the universe gives you for the, it's time to change your life, okay? In my course of studies, in many different things, I have learned that change is the only true constant in the universe. And it can be really, really scary sometimes. But you need to embrace it proactively, okay? When you do this, it lets peace and happiness into your life. So, I really want to thank you for tuning in to this tidbit for transformation. And I know that this is really going to help you guys. Now, you see, we're all driven by our dreams and our ambitions. Even me. That's why I'm a fairy godmother. I was driven by my dreams and ambitions, and I am now driven to help others fulfill their dreams and ambitions. You see, however, while pursuing our aspirations... It can be kind of difficult at times to figure out when to keep going down the path and when to take a different route. It's not like the universe. Actually, let me strike that. It is exactly like the universe is giving you a roadmap and a GPS. You just have to pay attention to the signs, okay? Many people linger way too long in their present life without realizing that it's time for a change. Some even resist it. Oh, they fight against it hard. And they stay within the realms of that familiar comfort setting. Guys, even if that is painful and it's not working for them, they're going to stay there because it's comfortable. It's what they know. Change sometimes can be very, very scary. One of the valuable lessons that I have learned the hard way in my life is to know when to look for signs for change. When I need to change something and to proactively take steps to make it happen. You see, when you do this, it allows you to take control of your life and determine your future. Otherwise, my magnificent manifestors, life will simply force it upon you. Now, if you're new to these tidbits for transformations, I really want to thank you. I'm Lynn Switzer. I am a dream life coach and hypnotherapist. I work a lot with the law of attraction and mindset to help people manifest what it is that they want. Now, when I got that email this week, she asked me point blank, what are some of the signs to tell you when it's time to change direction in your life? Okay, and this could be a major change, like one in your finances, career, health, relationships, how you do things, or even what you do on a daily basis. But it can also be a minor change. That is a small adjustment to the way you do or perceive things that's going to get you to that next step. So, without any more ado, here is the first and foremost sign from the universe that it's time to change your life direction, okay? That sign is going to be, you've been pushing for a while, but 
absolutely nothing is happening. <laughs> you guys ever done this? Feel like you're banging your head against a wall here? If you've been pushing hard for too long and it's just not working, take the time to step back, reassess the situation, and actually see if you're going down the right path, guys. This is the number one sign from the universe that things aren't working the way that they're supposed to, okay? Often when we're going in the wrong direction and hit a dead end, instead of taking a pause and taking a step back to reevaluate, we push harder and then we get frustrated. And guys, I am super guilty of this. In fact, I had to take a step back this past couple of weeks and look at a few things in my own personal life that were frustrating me and that I was trying to push through. If you notice that absolutely nothing is happening, no matter how much effort and energy you put in, then it might be time to completely change directions and tread a new path. In some cases, like what happened to me this week, you may be going about things the wrong way and a new direction might simply be a new approach. It doesn't mean you have to abandon that project, but you have to figure out a new way to do that project, okay? Now, I'm gonna give you a couple of things that have helped me immensely in this regard. If you are unable to achieve what you want at the end of a time period that you have set for yourself, so for example, if you're looking to be a chef to work in a top restaurant in Los Angeles or New York City, Give it seven or eight months, guys, okay? It may not happen overnight. Once you hit the end of that time period, ask yourself, is there anything else more that I can do differently to try and make this work? And if you don't come up with an answer, guys, or if your answer is no, then it might be better to take a new direction for a little while. You can always come back to this later when you're bustling with new ideas and new energy. But guys, if you've gone without a job for seven to eight months because you're trying to get into a top restaurant and you're a chef, well, okay. Still want you to be that chef, so maybe you can go work for a catering company. Maybe you can go work for a four-star restaurant instead of a five. Work your way up, okay? Worst case scenario, guys, I know that most chefs out here are going to get offended by this, and I'm not trying to offend anyone with this. But if your dream is to become a chef, and let's say you have absolutely no cooking experience, start taking a class, as many of them offered out there. Learn from your granny. Okay, learn from your neighbor. Go to work at Burger King or Taco Bell. Learn how to make their menu. Start somewhere, okay? Now, if you've already got experience and know how to cook and you're trying to get into that top restaurant, well, then you might need to take a step back after that time period has expired and it still hasn't happened. So instead of, say, Chez Nouveau, which is a five-star restaurant, you're working at the French Bistro, which is a three-star restaurant. Single steps move you forward to your larger goal than not doing anything at all, okay? So my number one, or my second tip from the universe that you're going to need to change your life's direction, and I know many of you out there have experienced this, everything is falling apart around you, okay? Take a look at your life, guys. If you notice that things are falling apart around you and your life's turning into a complete, perfect crap storm, hello, here's your sign, as Bill Ingvall used to say. <laughs> it's time to change your direction. It might feel that life is picking on you and things that are so unfair. But I promise you, if you have faith in yourself, and you remember, as Marilyn Monroe once said, sometimes things fall apart so that the better things can fall together. You see, physics teaches us that we must deconstruct matter in order to construct it. 
and it may not be obvious, but life might be helping you clear out the unnecessary things in that life so that you can focus on the things that truly matter to you, that truly inspire you and give you hope instead of being stuck in this day-to-day -day existence that is miserable and you absolutely hate, okay? Now, even when you're losing things, okay? It could be resources, belongings, friends, family members, circumstances that didn't even come about. All you gotta do is take a step back and ask yourself, did I really need that in the first place? Guys, you're gonna be surprised to learn how many unnecessary things have been cluttering your life and keeping you from manifesting your goals. So instead of worrying about what you've lost or what's broken, focus on things that continue to work well and put all of your energy behind it. It will naturally take you in a new and a better direction. All right, guys, my third sign that it's time to change your life's direction is you just don't feel good about it anymore. Okay, your emotions are your GPS in life. You're supposed to be doing what makes you happy, what brings you joy, what is fun. And I promise you, no matter what you do, it's essential that you feel good about it. Because only then you'll have the enthusiasm and the energy to give your 100% day in, day out. It will keep you motivated. If you feel happy and peaceful, then I promise you, my magnificent manifestors, you're on the right track. Yes, there's going to be the occasional hiccup in the road, okay? That occasional speed bump that you're going to have to get over. But if you're not feeling good about it, what you do for quite some time, then, guys, you need to do something about it because feelings are going to be the top one of the top three signs that the universe is telling you to change your direction. Because if you don't, you'll end up settling for a mediocre life that you absolutely hate. See, guys, I've been here. I know exactly what I'm talking about. Not too long ago, I had a corporate job, and I was constantly stressed out. The money was good. The hours were good. But, guys, I used to have to escape it by going on holidays and partying with friends every single weekend, only to return back to reality when it was all over on Monday morning at 5 a.m. I got promoted on my job within six months. And after two years of unhappiness, I could feel it crushing my soul every single day. I decided to start my own business and do things that I am happy with. I love helping people accomplish their dreams, to find direction in their life to figure out the steps that it's going to take to accomplish their goal. That's what I am passionate about. Guys, it's been five years. I have been doing this. Well, technically, I've been doing this now for eight. But I've been doing this five years full time. And during that time, I have never felt the need to go on a vacation or to go out and party with my friends just to forget about my miserable life. In fact, I love my life so much now. Sometimes I work seven days a week simply for the fun of it. You see, don't be judgmental and don't come down hard on yourself. <clears throat> Sometimes in your life, without meaning to, you get stuck in the wrong place or with the wrong people. You get stuck in a situation that is not favorable for your life. You get worried. You get frustrated. And you're not alone. So my magnificent manifestors, stand back and tell yourself, it's time to face the reality and change my life to let in the peace and happiness. Are you ready to face reality 
and change your life to wedding peace and happiness? I want you to answer yes or no right now in the comment section. Okay? Guys, I've given you three of the top signs that I know of that it's time to change your life's direction if you're having an issue. But no matter what sign the universe is giving you, follow your intuition. You'll save yourself a lot of time and unnecessary pain if you just do what makes you happy. So, let's wrap this tidbit for transformation up. I want to know, do you experience any of the signs that I talked about today? Put it in the comment box, okay? I want you to get ready to take some positive decisions for your life to make some changes. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to determine which areas of your life does it apply to. Does it apply to my finance, to my career, to my relationship, to my family, to my education, to my spiritual practice, to my friendships? And ask yourself if it requires a big change or a small adjustment. Find out the first step you need to take to start making that positive change happen. And I'm going to help you with that, okay? For everybody who tunes in today to this Facebook Live, Tweetbit for Transformation, I want to give you a free, no obligation, wish manifestation consultation. You see, my clients hire me to help them radically transform their personal and their business life and guide them to creating extraordinary results in every single area so that they live out their dream life. So if you're ready to find clarity, to figure out how to change your life, and to reconnect to your birthright on the planet to live the best possible existence that you can, filled with happiness, love, and support, increased prosperity and personal power, giving you that sense of freedom that you're lacking now. Because I promise you, my magnificent manifestors, it is your birthright. I want you to contact me right now so I can help you. Either PM me here through this or go to my website and email me. Now, I've put the link there in the description. That's going to be mycelestialgarden.com. Remember, I give these tidbits for transformation every Tuesday and Thursday around 1030 Mountain Standard Time. Make sure you follow my page here so that you never miss an episode. Until next time, my magnificent manifestors, have a fantastic day. Go out and live your dreams. Quit being a wallflower.